Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the May uh, Lico Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, yeah, max number of case on pairs. So, everyone's doing all right. Feeling really good today. Uh, yesterday, just to, if you're just joining me, uh, I sometimes give a little bit of a vlog style update. I've been doing this for two years. So, you know, maybe for future Larry or something like that. Uh, so, but yeah, but I actually fast. Um, so I've been doing this fast. Uh, I w fasted about 36 hours. Um, basically, after it, I had uh, um, a good dinner. And then after that, I haven't ate till lunch and I feel great. Um, maybe I need to do them more often. I actually am also another quick update is that I am going to be in the Bay Area and uh, Atlanta uh, the next two weeks or so. Or, couple of weeks so definitely if you're in those areas let me know maybe you know something happened bay area i think my, my schedule is a little packed though but if you're in atlanta hit me up um yeah uh and also you know follow the instagram if you uh find the comments below but follow the instagram if you're curious how that, those turn out or you know um yeah, uh, I do. And when I come back from that trip, I want to try to do a five day uh, fast. Uh, so, and I'll you know probably talk about it on streams. So, so yeah. Uh, so that that's that. Uh, so with that out of the way, we'll we'll uh, look. At, let's take a look at today's problem. Hope uh, that wasn't. Hope you're still here and not like what is Larry doing? And then close the window. But anyway, uh, nine or uh, six. 1979 max number of k sum pairs you're given an integer array nums and an integer k in one operation you pick two numbers whose sum is equal to k and we move them from the array we turn the maximum number of operations that you can perform on the array cool um so i think this is i think there's a couple there i mean i know how to do this one the, um the thing that you should do is greedy but i don't think that the greedy solution is, is in me um like like you can think about it and but not necessarily know how to prove it or understand why it's correct right um and i think i have some maybe uh, uh explanation or observation hopefully it helps the key thing to note is that um and this is like a property of sum meaning adding two numbers and these things that are things that you notice when you do a lot of problems uh just people sometimes ask me how many problems i've done or how long i've been doing this I actually, oh, huh, it's 2022, right? So actually, I've been doing competitive for maybe close to 20 years now. I don't know the actual date, but this year will be 20 years, um, maybe late in the year, because I think that's when the semester begins, but maybe I'm wrong. But so, so yeah, and I've probably done, I mean, not all of them challenging and not all of them hard, but I probably solved about six, 7,000, maybe 8,000, I don't know, like, thousands of problems right uh so and some of that you from that experience you know certain properties without you know i mean this one is maybe a little bit easier so uh, uh, uh to figure out anyway but the idea is that um your decisions are unique right meaning that okay given k is say like if you know one number the other number is just k minus x right um okay sure that sounds obvious but th what that means is that there's no decision it um and what when there's when there's no decision, then you just simulate, right? Maybe you could call it greedy, but you maybe simulation as well. Um, but that's the idea, right? You just basically um yeah, there's no decision, right? The the harder problems, the problems where you may you know, try to figure out um like how do I prove this correct? Um, because some of it does require decision, right? Let's say, um hmm, I don't know if there's an operator that does this, but let's say you can remove two numbers or three numbers whose sum equals to k, right? Well, now you have a decision because each number can be part of a two pair or a three pair or a three trio, I guess, um, right? So then now there's a decision and then now if there's a, I don't think there's a greedy, I think it, maybe there's like a three sat type thing. So maybe it's NP actually, um, but this is just off my head. I don't know. Um, but, but, just like that minor difference, right? The difference between summing two numbers and three numbers is already like, like makes the problem way harder. So that's kind of interesting, right? Um, but the experience and doing a lot of problems and doing a lot of practice will help you differentiate between these things. And I hope that this makes sense because I think this is a, uh, otherwise, once you realize that point, it becomes a easy problem um, or like, not easy, like, but 
uh, when I say easy, I mean programmatically easy, right? Like if you know how the algorithm, the program should be easy um, because I don't think there's any weird edge cases. I mean, there's one edge case in that if K is even and, oh, but they don't, they even give it to you, right? Like if K is even and you remove two of the same numbers, so you have to do um, a quick check for that. But, but yeah, otherwise I think we are good. Um, so that, that's, let's implement this. I think that's by the idea of simulation. Um, and we can do it in a couple of ways. Um, but I think we're probably fine. Like I was going to think about maybe we can do some kind of like mm, weird sliding way, but, um, cause the other thing is that if you do, if, so one, yeah, one other thing I would remark on, which is not true for this problem, but if they were sorted, then you could just do a, a two point or two finger algorithm, right? Because th that's the that's probably part of the property of adding as well is that as one number gets bigger, the other one number gets smaller. So then you could do that in in like a constant space, right? If you, uh, I mean, if you sort or if it's already sorted, um, because it's not, um, you know, and and log and if you sort, it's going to be n log n. We can just store it in a. a um, you can just store it in the collection, right? So that's basically what I'm going to do. Um, and this is kind of just laziness on my part because PyFind allows me to do this and it basically gives me a frequency table. So that's called freak for frequency table. Um, and then now we can just go over each key. Uh, in freak.keys, we have to keep track of a total type thing. Right? How many times? Okay. So each operation is one pair, right? So eh, maybe I could just do pairs as you go to zero. Um, then if k mod 2 is equal to, uh, not mod, what am I doing? I mean, I have mod on my mind, I guess. And of course, I like to write it this way, but though, um, yeah, okay. I was just checking the overflow. Uh, obviously, in Python, there's no overflow, but I, I, I think I get, uh, one is a bad habit because sometimes I change to different languages, I forget, but two is also, you know, for your purposes, I like to make sure so that I could point it out for you at home. But of course, um, it's going to be 10 to the 9 times 2, which is going to be small enough uh, for for 32 bit signed int. So yeah, so if this is the case, then pairs is equal to, uh, we add it to frequency of key divided by 2. Else, pairs, we add it to frequency of key, kind of. So basically, the number pair is just the min of this and min of k minus key, right? Um, mm, yeah, I think this is okay. Do they have to be positive or anything like that? I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, I mean, the input is positive, so I think that may be good enough. Wouldn't change the answer anyway, because it's input restricted, I think. Let's run it real quick. Oh, did I misunderstood the problem? Wait, why do I have... Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, 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 I am being dumb um, because this happens uh, with double counting because for every key, we it goes uh, into the thing twice. So there, there are a couple of ways you can do it, but you can just uh, make sure that, for example, one key is bigger than the other. Um, so maybe I'm going to write it out for, for the people at home, but, you know, it's obviously you can write it in a different way. Uh, but then if A is less than B, and of course, you don't have to check for equal then because um, because equal is meaning this, right? So you should be over here. But maybe if we write it this way, we can eh, clean it up a little bit while we're here. Uh, um, and just to be make this more readable and more debug friendly when I do need to debug or if I need to debug. Um, okay. Whew. Yikes, right? Uh, now I'm double checking this to make sure, because not gonna lie, I, I, as if you've been watching this uh, this week, I've been making a lot of silly mistakes. So, but I'm, I'm relatively confident, but I, that doesn't mean I don't have mistakes. So let's give it a submit. We'll see how that goes to my other things. Okay, cool. Whew, no silly mistakes. 765 day streak here, and I'm happy. Uh, cool. I mean, yeah, this is, as we said, this is gonna be linear space. Well, here's linear space and linear time on this one, but also this is an additional linear time. So yeah, um, cool. Let's see if I have any. Did I do it any other way? Yeah, I basically did it the same way. Um, maybe the variable names could be better. 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, this is a different way, but that's cute too. Um, this is basically like a sliding way. Um, like by I, I, hmm, I mean, yeah, I thought about doing it, uh, but the the beauty about this one, I mean, uh, this is actually not that necessary, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is, but you could also just check this is greater than zero. Some of that is some nuances about space, but I'm not going to get into that today. But this is slightly better, I think, um, in that I don't have to special case the the A is equal to B. But it should be. It's mostly okay. It's like ninety nine percent the same. So yeah, um, a little bit slower though. So maybe it is better to do it this way. I think also, may, I wonder if there's optimizations in here that makes it just like faster than like with it uh, number by number but this is where you read the code and and or benchmark to, to figure out uh cool um that's all i have for today uh let me know what you think uh yeah hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think uh stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see you later bye bye oh be also for future larry you hit a home run today it was very fun i'm very tired but it was a good softball game. All right, bye-bye.